Now the Tour de France this year has been a bit of a mixed bag and with them moving into the Pyrenees, we've actually had the lead rider, Tajay Pogacar, changing his bike from his disc brake bike that's been riding most of the Tour and has really served him quite well to a rim brake bike. Well, let's just roll an intro and let's just like have a discussion. What the hell's going on here? Well, maybe Tajay Pogacar watched my last video and saw the exploding disc rim and decided, hey, none of that for me. So he wanted a rim brake bike. But on a more serious <laughs> note, this is quite interesting because He's done so well on his disc brake bike and it's really given him a five minute lead. So why the hell is he changing from a disc brake bike to a rim brake bike? Now we've seen a number of other riders wanting to change their bike. I actually made another video where a S-Works rider wants to change to the SL7 for an EFOS. So go and check that one out. And we've also seen Chris Froome basically ditch his Focus disc bike for a rim brake bike. So this has kind of been a, not an isolated change of bikes, but uh, a few riders have actually done this. And it does beg the question, why a leader with five minutes and really has nothing to gain would change his bike anyway? Even if, even if the rim brake bike gave him an advantage, he's really got such a big lead that any uh, marginal gains that he would get from riding a rim brake bike really don't have any significant value to him. Now this change to rim brake bikes has been fairly quiet in the media and from the teams. And you can probably imagine why, because obviously manufacturers don't want to take a step back and really blow their trumpet about riders riding a rim brake. Now, we can only speculate why Tajay has gone to a different type of bike and some of the other riders have. Now, I know we hit the mountain stage in the Pyrenees and you might sort of think to yourself, well, yeah, the, the rim brake bike is a bit lighter. But then there's also the other argument you can use for disc brakes, that disc brakes would be better on the downhill side. So it would be swings and roundabouts. So it still begs the question, why? Now, there could be a few reasons. Now, the first reason is he just doesn't like the bike he's riding, the disc brake bike he's riding, and he's ridden the rim brake, and he goes, look, I prefer the rim brake, I'd rather ride it. So it's just like, I want that one rather than that one, and I just feel better on that wing, and that's why he wants it. Or it could be the weight. Now, we do know that the you could probably be saving maybe between two and 400 grams riding the rim brake bike, or it could be because the disc brake bikes are now being getting closer to the weight. The latest models are now not that far off the UCI weight. But to get down to that weight, like we saw with the rim exploding in my previous videos, they're making the components just a little bit too light. And the bikes are feeling a bit kind of noodly, flexy. The wheels don't respond the same. And, you know, they're just taking a little bit too much material out of the bikes to get them down to this weight. So that could be another reason why. Now, when I posted my previous video, the exploding disc wheel, and if you haven't seen that, go check it out. There was quite a few comments that were highlighting the fact that, hey, look, this is not about disc brakes. This is about wheel sets. And these wheel sets are just not built strong enough. They're built too light. And they may have a really good point here. Now, I think people misinterpreted my last video. That wasn't a rim brake versus disc brake. It was just, I was using the rim brake to show the design differences and the loading in the wheel is quite different to a rim brake bike. So for people who kind of misinterpreted that, that was the point of that video. And what actually came out of that in the comments, which I 100% agree with, is that they're making these disc wheels with too low a spoke count and they're trying to like bring them down to the most minimal weight and get them as aero as possible to compete with a rim brake wheel. Now I think this is what's happening with these new disc brake bikes. Yes, they're getting, starting to get them down to the weight or pretty close, but the bikes to get there are having to use some new technologies in the frame building, which is EPS. Now, 
I'm going to do a specific video on the EPS, so that just keep your eye out for that one. That should be coming soon. And they're also building these wheels to the absolute minimum of 21 spokes on the disc wheel really is really minimal. And if they're also going to wider tires, obviously you need to make the rim wider using more material. So the rims may actually be thinner. And this is the problem. And then you've got a bigger tire that weighs more. So you have all of this compounding weight that's coming into the bike. And even though the wheel sets are not that heavy, the disc which goes on the wheel, which is part of the group set, the group sets are getting very heavy. And something needs to give if they're going to get the weight down to 6.8. And I think this is where the bikes may be just getting a little bit too minimalistic uh, for structural integrity. And this is actually gets represented in how it feels when you ride the bike. And the pro riders are probably going, hey, look, this bike, you know, it, it just doesn't ride as nice as the rim brake because there's just not enough material in it. And anyway, this is just my opinion on this, which I'm putting forward. And you guys, you tell me what you think. Do you think, um, why do you think you changed the bike? I mean, obviously, there's something you didn't like about the disc brake bike because whether you say it's because you wanted a lot of bike or was riding in the mountains or whatever, He's switching to a different bike and a different technology and an older technology. So it's interesting that he's done this. And, and with a five minute lead, you go, for what reason? If it was a performance reason, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Well, anyway, that's where I'm going to leave it. Leave your comments down below and I'll catch you next vid. Cheers.